In this video, you're going to learn how to use Sell the Trend CJ Dropshipping Explorer. It's a really valuable tool. And now I'm going to pass it off to Rush from Sell the Trend, who's an expert, and he's going to show you how to do this step by step. Make sure you click the link in the description to try Sell the Trend completely for free, and that way you can follow along. Now let me pass it off to Rush. If you're not familiar with CJ Dropshipping, they are a similar supplier to AliExpress, but can provide faster shipping from China as well as from their warehouses in the US and around the world. Let's start by connecting uh, the CJ Dropshipping API key, which will allow us to fulfill orders faster once order starts uh, coming in. So let's go to My Stores, Connections. And in this page, this will allow us to connect uh, our suppliers. So let's go to the Supplier tab right here. So let's click here uh, to figure out how to connect uh, the CJ Dropshipping API. So let's click on this, uh, this link right here. Let's open up a new page. And this is a step-by-step -step instruction of how to do it. Basically, you go to the CJ Dropshipping website, you click on Authorization API, uh, you click on, uh, go to the bottom here where it says API, and you click on API key tab, click on Generate, and then you copy uh, this key right here that we are going to use in Sell the Trend. So this instruction sits right here so you can find it. Uh, and then once we uh, get the API key from CJ Dropshipping, we click on this, put it in this box, and click OK. And when you see uh, an account name here uh, show up, uh, you know that you've connected it correctly, the same way that we have here for AliExpress. So that's how we connect uh, the CJ Dropshipping API uh, to sell the trend for uh, later processing of orders. Now, you don't need to do that if you're just going to uh, use our CJ Dropshipping Explorer uh, just to look at products. But obviously, once you look at products, you're going to want to add them to your store. And once you add them to your store, you're going to start getting orders. Uh, and then you're going to want to make sure that your API key is connected. Uh, that way, you can fulfill the orders. So let's go back to uh, the CJ Dropshipping uh, Explorer. So you can find it in Explorers, CJ Dropshipping. So this is the page where you're going to see all the CJ Dropshipping uh, Explorer products. Uh, so you'll have a big list here of products, uh, and uh, you'll be able to kind of see the same stuff that you kind of that you see on the AliExpress Explorer. So if you're familiar with our AliExpress Explorer, you'll be able to see similar stuff. You'll be able to see different data points, different stats of how this product is performing. Uh, the only difference is that. In CJ Dropshipping, we do not have uh, the ability to see the orders that they are getting for these products, but instead we see the amount of lists uh, that uh, they have for these products. So what is a list? A list is basically how many people have added this product to their Shopify or WooCommerce store or whatever other platforms that CJ Dropshipping supports. So this now shows us that you know 2,100 people have added uh, this product to their uh, store. Uh, you know, uh, 1,400 people, 1,300 people. Now what's What's cool about Sell the Trend and what's different is that not only do you see the list, but we're also tracking the trend. So you'll be able to click on this button and see exactly uh, how many people are adding this uh, product on a daily basis. So what this is good for is that you're able to see if this product is stalling. You know, are less people excited about this product? If it has a flat line like this, uh, you know, this doesn't have a flat line. But if it did have a flat line, then that probably shows you that not more, not a lot of people are adding uh, this product to their store. People are not as excited about this product. This product obviously is still doing well. It's still being added uh, on a daily basis. And you can filter here by the same stuff that you can filter in the AliExpress Explorer. You can filter by, you know, uh, the daily list change, the highest percentage increase, most list increase, how many, you know, what are the, how many people have added this uh, product on a daily basis, and and you'll be able to see all this all these data points. Again, similar to our AliExpress Explorer. Now. Once you uh, you know filter uh, these products to kind of what you're interested in, whether it's price, whether it's list over, list under, reviews, uh, then you can start to zero in on the kind of products that you want to add to your store. So let's uh, let's uh, look at uh, products that ship from the United States, for example. So this will give us now a list of products that not only have uh, China shipping, which the majority of these products will have, uh, but also you'll be able to kind of see a list of products uh, that ship from CJ Dropshipping's US warehouses. So let's zero in on a product and uh, see how we can add it to our shop as well as per, um, look at the costing and how can we uh, find the proper price to, uh, to, uh, to list this product on our store. So let's click on this button right here to add this product uh, to our shop. So once this uh, page loads up here, uh, you'll be able to see uh, all the details, the same way you, you see it for the Nexus products that we have, or the AliExpress, or, or Shopify, or any of these other, other explorers that we have. You'll be able to see the content here. You'll be able to see a set of images, as well as uh, some details. 
So shipping options and and uh, you know the, the different variants. Now we can click on this button right here to see all the shipping options that this product has, both U.S. shipping options as well as uh, uh, China shipping options. But we can also get this information uh, from this edit variant screen. So what this edit variant screen allows us to do is allows us to get a sense of you know how to price this product, right? So the first thing that we do is before we start messing around with these numbers uh, to decide what we're going to price each of these different variants uh, on our store as, let us first pick the type of shipping that we are interested in. So we click on this country here, and this shows us that this product uh, will ship uh, in, it will arrive in two to five days uh, from the U.S. Uh, for nine bucks. Now you can also pick uh, China shipping here. So if you click on this, the list will be different and you'll have a lot of different options. So this product will ship internationally. It doesn't have to go to the US. This will ship to you know whatever country that you want. Uh, but this is, in this screen, you'll be able to kind of get a sense of uh, all the different shipping options. Let's go back to the US shipping here for now. And let's pick this. So what this will do is it will allow us to see, uh, place the shipping price right into this form right here so we can see how it affects our listing price, right? So let's, let's just uh, focus on this one uh, variant here and see how once we start changing these prices, uh, how our profit margins will change, right? So for this particular product, we are buying it for $2.06. It costs us $9.31 to ship it. And how much uh, should we list this product for? So I would say for something like this, uh, I would I would go at the twenty four ninety nine price, for example. And if I list it at twenty four ninety nine, let's put it here as well. If I list it at twenty four ninety nine, this will give me a thirteen dollar profit uh, for this product. Uh, with if we had actually put it as free shipping, so thirteen dollar profit with free shipping. Now for something like this, where the margins, you know, I would like a bit more margin than thirteen dollars. Uh, then I can put in uh, two dollar ninety nine shipping, you know, four ninety nine dollar shipping uh, to offset some of the shipping cost, uh, and then something like that. Let's say we're we're adding another four dollars ninety nine shipping, so it'll be you know whatever f five bucks. Uh, it will be twenty nine ninety nine. You know that will give us an eighteen dollar profit. So let's put that in here like that. I mean, I wouldn't do do it like this. I will actually add the shipping, right? This is just for example. So let's go back to this. Uh, but this gives you a sense of how much your profit would be if we added shipping. And then I will add shipping in my e-commerce platform, Shopify, WooCommerce, whatever it is. And now what I'll do is once I confirm these changes, this product will be listed on my store at $4.99. Uh, and that will allow us then to 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 make this kind of profit even with this uh, with the shipping. And what's so good about it is that as we as we see here, uh, the, the estimated delivery time is super good, right? So this is uh, and you know once you're happy with all this, you know you're familiar with this with the screen already. You click on push to store, and you know it will get added. All this information uh, will quickly get added to your store, uh, and then you'll have it listed. So that is uh, in a, in a nutshell our new CJ Dropshipping Explorer. Uh, check it out. Uh, go through a lot of the products here. A lot of these products are already existing on our Nexus Explorer and AliExpress Explorer. These are not like exclusive products to CJ Dropshipping. But what's so great about this Explorer is that it gives you yet another option, not only for to see data about these products. So you can say, hey, show me, um, you know, the most list increase, daily change, the most list increase. Show me the products that you know, uh, have seen uh, the most daily list increase. Uh, and let's look at this product here. So it went from 729 to 734. You know, that's a jump uh, of, of amount of people that have listed this product. And you'll be able to get, you know, some additional uh, products that maybe we don't have in our other explorers. Yet another option for you added to the benefit uh, of having uh, the faster shipping uh, um, and delivery rates. So check it out. It's our CJ Dropshipping Explorer. Uh, hope you have a, a lot of success with it. So I hope you found that video useful. You can use the link in the description to try to sell the trend completely for free. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.